But we are going to begin with that shareholder revolt against Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk and how the Gigafactory in South Buffalo factors into the complaints. Two on your side obtained a letter written by 17 high powered Tesla investors. Collectively, they own one and a half billion dollars worth of the company's stock. And they're asking Tesla's board to essentially exercise more oversight of Elon Musk, who some believe is more focused on other ventures like Twitter and SpaceX than he is on the electric car company. The letter also references alleged union busting at the plant in South Buffalo. We've reported with our partners at Investigative Post how Tesla fired 30 local employees a couple of months ago, and those workers say they lost their jobs because they were trying to unionize. So joining us live now is Ivan Frischberg, Chief Sustainability Officer for Amalgamated Bank, which signed the letter, and also J. Dale Shoemaker with Investigative Post, who has been reporting on issues at the Tesla factory. We appreciate both of you coming on here with us tonight. And Ivan, I wonder if we can start with you here and explaining to us why your bank signed this letter and what your response would be uh, to Mr. Musk, who I imagine would say, look, it's a big company. Isolated issues are going to always happen in a situation like that. And, and he would say Tesla is the most recognized electric car company in the world. Things are going pretty good. Yeah, and thank you for having me. Um, Amalgamated Bank signed on to the letter and was, was part of uh, the conversation with other investors um, because of a number of concerns about governance, really, uh, within Tesla. And, and I will say right out front, I think everybody here supports U.S. manufacturing of EVs, of clean energy, of, of all the things that are both great for business and, and good for America. but. But very clearly, Tesla has a, a governance problem. And I think it's reflected in a number of issues within its workforce, but it's also reflected in the fact that you have a CEO who's who's running three really big companies all at the same time and has a pretty tight and clubby uh, board of directors that he's, he's uh, surrounding him. Dale, let me ask you specifically about the part of the letter here that references Buffalo. And if, if we can move forward here, we'll show our viewers um, the letter here. And on page two, it lists allegations of a toxic culture at different Tesla factories. One of the bullet points there, we highlighted it. It says, quote, a complaint with the National Labor Relations Board accusing Tesla of retaliatory termination of union organizing employees in its Buffalo, New York plant. It goes on to say that Tesla is believed to use non-disclosure agreements to try to hide some of the issues that have been raised by employees. So Dale, based on your reporting, your thoughts on this letter and, and sort of Elon Musk being called out over all this? Yeah, so what I can tell you is basically this. Um, shortly before Valentine's Day, uh, a group of workers at the Tesla factory uh, decided to unionize. Uh, they began a union organizing campaign. Uh, they went public with it, like I said, just before Valentine's Day. And just a couple of days later, dozens of those employees uh, from the autopilot division, and this is uh, the group of employees that is working to help program this, the driverless cars that Tesla talks about a lot, um, dozens of those people were fired. Uh, in some estimates, more than 40. Um, and the company says that those employees were fired not in retaliation for joining the union, but because they failed performance reviews. Uh, but in talking with employees and former employees there, you know, they kind of called BS on that and said that there is really no possible way that that many employees did that poorly uh, on their performance reviews. And they do allege that this is, in fact, retaliation for unionizing. So Ivan, as some of the reporting nationally has been looking at this letter that you all put out today, um, it is noted that there are strong ties to organized labor with a lot of the groups involved, in, including your bank. Um, what would you say to that? And what is the ultimate goal of this letter? I mean, what would if 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 the you know board were here in front of you right now, um, what would you say needs to change within Tesla? Yeah, and and. First of all, we, I'll be right up front. We we are a, a bank that was founded here in New York a hundred years ago by a labor union. It's still a significant part of the the company and has been for a hundred years. We just celebrated our hundredth anniversary last Friday, um, and but part of our our business is uh, we are uh, investment managers for pension funds that have a very long view. Uh, they have to have very broad exposure into the market. Uh, and that inevitably means companies like Tesla being in there. And it's very clear that there's a, a, a culture of concealment within the, the company. I think that the issues that you've talked about in Buffalo, uh, we've seen in other places like California where uh, employees have, have 
uh, ignored the uh, mandatory arbitration uh, provisions and contracts and had to go to court to defend themselves and, and seek damages from the company. Um, they, there have been issues with the regulators in the state of California. Um, and between these mandatory arbitration agreements and the um, uh, the, the non-disclosure uh, provisions you were just referencing, uh, that's something that doesn't help a company deal well with its employees. And, and, and uh, really, that's, that's a governance problem. It's a social problem. And what I would say to the board of directors is exactly what we said in the letter. We want to be able to talk to them about these issues and how they're going to really take control of the company and start to enact some of the sort of best governance practices uh, that we see in companies all over all over the world. Ivan Frischberg, Chief Sustainability Officer with Amalgamated Bank and investigative post J. Dale Shoemaker. Thanks to both of you for starting off our show tonight. We appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks.